Hey, what's up? It's your girl, DJ Sky High Baby, and you are watching Great Tea News. We got we to gotta talk about Carlissa, man. Carlissa just always running her mouth and be saying the most random stories. Like, y'all, this, like... Uh, so, apparently, Carlissa is sitting here on Beyonce's internet telling us about, I guess, the one time uh, Blueface had a black girlfriend. I don't know why she needs to be telling us this. So, now, I guess she's trying to paint her son as a colorist i don't know y'all let me know y'all let me know what's her agenda with this I, I i'm trying to make it make sense okay blue face dumping his only black girlfriend did i ever tell y'all that story <laughs> jonathan porter dated black girls all the way up until it was homecoming, a homecoming dance, y'all. This is a true story. <clears throat> it was a homecoming dance, and she was the most beautiful Ethiopian girl I've ever seen in my life. She's very beautiful. But what had happened was, you know how our hair draw up when it get wet, and then the curls go like real tight? Girl, she had got her hair pressed out. It was flowy. It was beautiful. Um... <laughs> Um, before we got there, she had taken a bunch of pictures and put them on Facebook, and it looked really pretty, and he was so excited to see her because she looked gorgeous. She had a little black dress on. He had on his little outfit or whatever that y'all see him in on my page. Girl, by the time we got there, she had accidentally turned the shower on to, I guess, clean the shower or do something with the shower, and it wet all her hair. Her whole hair got wet, so she was forced to, like, wear her hair curly so the whole f was curled up y'all you know pretty curls but it wasn't probably she wanted to wear her hair for home i mean or whatever you know what i'm saying so when jonathan got there and she came out she had like a little like band on it and her, she had her baby hair it was still kind of cute we just was like okay that wasn't what you just had on the on the facebook but so I left him and dropped him off like, okay, have a good time. You know, Jonathan hesitated to get out the car. He was not happy to get out the car. And I was just like, get out, boy. I mean, I'm looking too. I'm in shock too. But I'm like, boy, get out. Go have a good time. She's ready to go party, right? This man gets out the car and runs in the place, y'all. And she's like walking behind him. I'm like, he's so weird for that. Like, he's so weird. And then I'm thinking maybe, okay, maybe he had to, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I go pick them up after the dance, y'all. Comes out in tears. Like she's like been in the corner crying the whole time. She got tears and I said, what, why is she crying, Jonathan? What happened? What is going on? Why is she crying? Jonathan is hurt that she's crying. Obviously, I know when he's hurt because he'll like, have this faith so he was kind of hurt that he like stayed away from her the whole time because she finally came out and was like he didn't talk to me the whole night he stayed up there he danced with all the other girls and he didn't dance with me and i he wasn't me and blah 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 blah, blah and all this stuff right y'all and i was just like jonathan why would you do that to her what happened why did you do that he was like i don't like her hair like that i told her i don't like her hair like and I'm like, but she told you it got wet in the shower. You were supposed to give her a pass. He's like, it's ugly. I don't like it. Girl. <laughs> I just ride to hell to drop her off. And I walked her up to the door and I was so sad. And I was like, Jonathan, I got back in the car. I want to just wring his neck, y'all. I said, Jonathan, don't you ever do that again. He said, you don't have to worry. I'm breaking up with her. I said, you're going to break up with her because of her hair? He's like, she just was being weird about it. And I told her I didn't like it like that before we went. And then she did that on purpose. I was just like, I'm done. I'm so done. You're so vain. And the next thing you know, we just didn't see any more um, African-American women after that. He just didn't trust the process no more. He just made sure they came with their hair done, already done when they wake up. <laughs> Blue face dumping his only black girlfriend. Did I ever tell y'all that story? Oh man! Um, after after hearing that, y'all y'all know what I gotta say. Y'all know what I gotta say. 
You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? Right. Just say what we want. Oh, uh, shut up. When you think about fuck it. Fuck up. Why was this story even relevant? Y'all, we could have went our whole lives without hearing that. We could have went our whole lives without knowing that story. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't care. I don't care. I, I don't care. That, that story didn't move me. It don't make me feel any type of way. Um, y'all got to remember, she talking about him in high school at that. This is before Jaden. Look at the picture. This is the picture with him and the girl. This is they clearly in middle school. He look like he about 13, 14. Carlissa, why are you talking about a situation with your son with his girlfriend at the time that was 14? Yeah, so um Yeah. I'm done, y'all. I, I I I'm 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 speechless. I, I literally don't know what the hell to say. Like I mean, just, just stupid, bro. Like, like, just, just mindless. But let me remind y'all, bro. When school was over, when high school was done, they just freed all the special ed kids out into the world. Didn't tell us who was who or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Our whole lives in school, we were separated. We knew who were who. We knew, all right, if they get the tripping, don't even pay them no mind. They special ed. You know what I'm saying? After high school, they let them out into society, and we don't know, bro. So when somebody trying, you just remember, they probably them. That's probably them right there, bro. <sighs> Anywho, y'all, um, shut up, Carlissa. We, we, we tired of you talking about nothing. Like like I said, I felt like this was just an un unnecessary story. Like, it's like I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. What was the point of it, uh, on, on us even knowing this? She laughing about it and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure she gets... He gets a lot of his beliefs and his mannerisms from his mom. I guarantee you. Okay. I guarantee you. Okay. Yeah. Carlissa is definitely a bird. You said Carlissa and Charlene need matching t-shirts. Yeah. Well, she uh, likened herself to Krishan. That's why Carlissa and Krishan got along at first. And that's why she kept saying, oh, I see myself, you know, in you, you know, and that's probably why Blueface has some form of, you know, connection with Krishan. He probably saw his mom uh, in her, you know? Y'all know that's the thing, man. It's called an Oedipus complex. A lot of, you know, a lot of women look for their father, you know, in a mate, and a lot of men look for their mom, you know? They talk about that. I think, I think, yeah, it's called an Oedipus complex, right? Something like that. But anyways, um, and Carlissa, man, remember Carlissa said some weird stuff about, the, about them and you know it, it it be given like she be like she damn near want to be like she be jealous of their girls and and their wives and their baby mamas and stuff you know with Dre and Blueface she kind of weird man she kind of weird but anyways anyways let's talk about Ronnie I don't know if you guys knew about this shout out to uh, my girl Captain for likes please uh follow her on Instagram she's on YouTube as well but it's Captain for likes all right. Apparently, Ronnie has called out a blogger, okay, um, which is, I mean, this is crazy. Y'all know how I feel. Don't be spamming other content creators in my uh, chat and nothing like that. This is just mainly for content. This is what we're, um, this is what we're covering. But apparently, Ronnie got beef with another blogger, okay, which is crazy. And they even got on live together and was talking, Okay. It says uh, Ronnie uh, and Blue Rock, all right, got into it. It says Ronnie calls out Blue Rock for co constantly coming for him because he chose not to do an interview with him. Oh, I didn't know about that. Um, I think Ronnie just wanted the exclusive with Tasha K uh, because he was just in Miami and he posted today saying that he's back in uh, Maryland. Okay, so I think he just did the, uh, the Tasha K interview. So it should be coming out probably in the next week or so. Let's go. Fair use. I'm easily bought. Hey, yo. Everybody tell Blue Rock TV to get off my kit. Get off my kit, bro. All up on my kit for what? Because I don't want to talk to you. You geeking. Go ahead. Move around, bro. 
Move him around, dummy. This for this for Ronnie. This for Ron team Ronnie only. All that hating y'all got going on. Move around, dummy. For real, move around. Yeah, I only got two inch braids. So what? You know how long it took me to get my hair like this? And you hating? Hater? Hey yo, everybody tell Blue Rock TV, get up out of here, man. What is yo what is yo over here for? Hey yo, everybody that's team Ronnie, tell Blue Rock TV and hot tea chocolate. They got a dip. Hey, welcome over here. Tell them, tell them, come on, tell them, dip, tell them, dip, get out of here, move around. It's Save Junior, man. Team Blue Rock, y'all really gonna come over here rapping Team Blue Rock? Hold up, yo, y'all got, y'all got me geek. Matter of fact, Blue Rock, you wanna come in my live, don't you? Hold up, shorty. There you at, stupid. Hey, you ask, dude. I'm ready to add you to the live. You want to be famous, don't you? Hey, you ask, stupid. Hey, you at, dummy? Don't try hide. Don't try hide, neither, dude. Watch out, hey, yo. Watch how he try hide, yo. I can't even find, yo. Yo, dipped up out of here. He ducking that smoke, y'all. Ooh, rock. T V. Yeah, he ducking that smoke, y'all. He gone. Can't even find y'all. Ducking that smoke. Kid. Hot baby. Get on here with me real quick. You to the front. Come on. Calling you to the front. What's up? What's up? Oh, uh, man, come on, I'm adding y'all right here, come on. Run your mouth every day, show your face. Listen, I'll show my face on my own terms, you get what I'm saying, bro? Listen, bro. honestly, all the best to you. I, I really wish you did things better, you know what I'm saying? You bro. damn well know, in the background, you knew damn well that I was talking to you and I was trying to get you to, you know, do things a little bit more with some decorum. But at the end of the day, you doing you, that's it. But don't try to say or think that I'm not going to jump up if you want me to jump up. I'll jump up. No, nah, what I'm saying is, why you keep barking out your chest like you really Superman or something? like? Bro, I'm the king of the fucking jungle. Y'all need to realize that. Do you understand that? But, you see this uh, little, you see Blue Rock TV in my platform? You're the platform? king of what jungle? I'm the king of my own jungle. You see my platform, oh, wow. bro? Yeah, you bad, you bad, uh, you bad, you bad, you bad, you you know what it is. Uh, you ain't the king of the jungle, hey, bro. You, hey, yo, you Listen, know, I can you, have you, know you're not in the jungle where you know you're not in the jungle where I'm at. You know damn well you can get washed up in a second. Stop. Ooh! Dang. Man, hey, that's crazy that the bloggers, you know, is, is beefing with the people and stuff like that. Right? Y'all know I stay out of all this. Man, I just do my job. I report and, you know, say my stuff, say my opinion, drag, do what I do, and I just stay out the way. This is too much. This is crazy, though. Damn, he said he can get washed? Uh, man, okay, okay. all right. I, I guess, I mean, he's standing on business. He's saying he a man too, right? Man, this is, I mean, you know. Um, Ronnie, Ronnie's track record is on, on paper though. Alleged, I mean, he caught a body, like, you know, all type of stuff. I'm, you know, he's out there in Baltimore. He's from Baltimore. I'm pretty sure he's seen and been through a lot of stuff. Um, I remember I was on a live before. And Ronnie was talking about, um, it was like old footage of him and Krishan talking about, uh, you know, I, I think he said, I forgot what he was talking about, man. Basically, like they robbed somebody before and something like that. I got to look that up again. Allegedly, allegedly. I got to I gotta look it up again. I got to look it up. I'm going to find it. But yeah, he was uh, talking about old stories about what, you know, what he used to get into and stuff like that. But yeah, wow. This is uh, crazy. Playing, boy. Stop playing. Time to get washed up, Blue Rock. Stop playing. Wait, time, time to get will washed tell. up, Blue Rock. Time will tell, my friend. You can see it. You be, you getting washed up right now. How? You don't see I'm the, in, you don't see the internet and what the internet's saying about you, bro? Like, let's bro, be honest. Do you think I care, though? I, obviously not. Exactly. Obviously so, not. 
Exactly. Yeah, but you still getting washed up, whether or not you care. How am I getting washed up, bro? I'm good in real life. What are you talking about? How am I good in real up? life? What you talking about? Up. Let's not bring up good in real life. Are you talking about when you told the girl to, to jump in the car so you can get your candies out the bag? Is that your good in real life? What? Come on, man. Life? What? Come on, man. Man, bro. What? Come on, Ronnie. Say it again. I ain't hear you. Say it again. I said, how you good in real life? How you good in real life? By by still by still hustling, you still good in real life? Who said I'm hustling? What are you talking about? Bro. You a fed. Bro. You're a fed. You is the police. Bro. See? Bro. Hey, everybody. I ain't here to spill the tea. Bye, y'all. You the police. Bye, exactly. Bye, I'm here to spill the tea, bitch. Don't well, forget. Yo, bye, yo. Don't police, forget. Bye. Of course you're going to want me off now. Bye, I'm yo. talking the truth. The police. You're you just say some police stuff. How about you go dip yourself in some powdered sugar and start tweaking out again? Stop. How do you playing say it, Ronnie? Stop fucking playing with it. Bro, like, you lucky, you lucky IG be protecting the little LGBTQ community. Because you know... If Bro, you, if I was in your man, area and I stood up next to you, my six foot two self would be... Listen, you would have to pull out a toolie to do something to me. You don't even got the... You would have to pull out a toolie. You don't even got the... Like the last guy you on the live, like the last one you on the live, you'd have to pull out a toolie to do something to me, bro. Because you can never step to me. Trust me. You and your little scrawny ass self can never step to me, bro. Stop trying to act up. Bro, you keep talking about scrawny. Stop trying to act up. Whole time, I'm right here. I'm right here. Where you at? Acting like a little mighty mouse. Acting like a little mighty mouse. You the clown. Like, come on, Ronnie. You the clown, yo. You don't want to know what's up. You a clown, bro. Show your face, one. bro. Show your you face. You arguing on my I own terms. Yo, bro. I need a whole bottle. Show your face. Show your face. This one, this one, this one, Aunt Tasha. I need this one, Aunt Tasha. Since you a fan so bad. I told you, you this one, Tasha, Tasha was going to hook you up. I told you, you Tasha was going to hook you up. You a fan don't, so bad. Bro, don't act like. Damn, he got, the, he got the bottle. He got the wine. He a wino now, y'all. He got the wine from Tasha K. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to this interview. I'm looking forward to this interview. I, I didn't tell you Tasha K was going to hook you up. Easily bought, like I said. Come bro, on, Mighty Mouse. What's up? You just mad I ain't come on your platform, bro. Like, tell Are you me, kidding you really, me? You really, Do you know my really viewers? Hating, my viewers really hating, never wanted you really on my hating, platform. Bro, Are you I'm dumb? Platform, Are you bro, dumb? Bro, Are you bro, stupid? Bro. Are you slow? Which one? Come Listen, on, my viewers never come wanted on, you on the platform. You understand? Man. My viewers never wanted you for a second on that platform. So stop lying. So why y'all so mad then? Why y'all so mad then? What am I mad about? Go bro, ahead. Explain. You smile, you smile. Hot dog water. That's what you mad about. Hot dog water. That's what yeah, you be shooting out. You be shooting out hot dog water. water. You the one talking about how you never got a kid, never got nobody pregnant or nothing or never had nothing because you shooting out the hot dog water. That's what the chat's talking about. The chat's talking about your hot dog water, bro. Don't get it confused. So, so They're how talking about your hot dog water. If I shoot hot dog water. Make They're talking sense. about your hot dog water, bro. Make it make sense, bro. How, what? Make it make I sense. How did I get Rashawn pregnant if I shoot hot dog water? Make it make wish. sense. You wish. I mean, we still waiting to see that. Bro, it's the fact, bro. Wait, bro. We wait for still the, waiting to bro, see that. Wait four to six weeks. You want to be a fan so bad? Wait four to six weeks. Fan and of who, you, Ronnie? And then you speak up. Fan of who? Bro. You're a fan of Kashawn. You're a fan of Yo, you. So That's you don't forget. Me. So, Ronnie, That's you're, pump, you're me. pumping your That's chest right now, but I recall... You're pumping your chest, but I recall three weeks ago you were standing there going, Blue Rock, you know, I need somebody like you, somebody who can help me, you know, get in the I right direction. You somebody. You and life. now you sitting I there with Mr. Corey. Like me, now you letting the hate pages put, wash your put ass your kid. up. Put it on your kids. That's me. Put what on my kids? Put it on your kids. Put what on my kids? Exactly. Put what, put on my exactly. kids? Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to clarify anything before I put on my exactly. kids. You better believe it. Put it on your kids that I said I needed you. Need you yeah. for what? I'm not. I put that on my kids. I do put that on my kids. Are you dumb, bro? You said that how many times? Stop. Stop fronting. Stop fronting. Stop, Stop fronting. fronting. Stop fronting. Yeah. Yeah. Stop yeah. Fronting. Yeah. yeah. Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. What's up? Bro. Hey, all right. All right. You know I'm the wrong one. You know I'm the wrong one. At least. You know I'm the wrong one. I'm not scared to show my face. At least bro, I'm not hiding behind a, a faceless profile. Oh, you so mad. You so mad. That you can't see my face. What you want to do? Give me a kiss or something? You so mad. Can't Come, see my face. Move, move. Hold on. Hold on. That was move. That was pause. You're gone for that. I Get don't out. care. Bye. Deuces, Bye. bitch. Get out of here.
or gay self. Go suck out the donut, the, the donut hole, boys hole. I don't give a hell what y'all do. Yo, how do I get him off there, yo? Oh, a little Fine, technically you know? inclined now. A little technically inclined. We know you slow. Come on, you ready to go lick pee pee? Run in your mouth. He talking all man, all that Rago lick pee pee. Yo, a fruitcake. Yeah, <laughs> fruitcake. Go out, man. Go ahead, yo. Move around, yo. Fruitcake not welcome up here. Not not right here. Ain't no fruitcakes coming up here talking out, out they chest like that. That's dead. <laughs> That's dead, bro. Go ahead. Matter of fact, Blue Rock, you want to come on my live, don't you? Hold up, shorty. Hey, you ass, stupid. Hey, you ass, stupid. I'm going to add you to the live. You want to be famous, don't you? Then you ask, stupid. Then you ask, dummy. Bro, this whole situation is crazy. Like, I, I don't get into the back and forth. I don't do the YouTube, IG, social media beef, man. I talk my ish and I log off. I do my thing. I could care less, right? But, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is crazy. We're seeing a lot more of Ronnie. We can actually see why, you know, him and um why him and Krishan get along. I can actually see a lot of Krishan mannerisms in um in Ronnie and vice versa. They seem like uh, a match made in heaven. All right. Um you, you feel like he cloud chasing? Could be. Um, I, I do believe he looked more like Junior than Blueface. And then, like I said, ain't no telling. Uh, the dad could be neither one of them. Okay. But yeah, he 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 is kind of crashing out though. Yeah. Yeah, he is kind of crashing. But is this surprising to y'all? Uh, uh is this surprising that a potential baby father of Krishan is acting like this? So I, I don't think you guys should be acting pretty surprised at all. Like, you know. Um the options, even though it could be somebody else. The options as of now is Blueface or uh Ronnie. Do they seem really mature? Uh, are they too big not to be arguing with people online? Literally, right before Blueface turned himself in, he was literally going back and forth with Soldier Boy. So, like, eh, this is not surprising to me at all. I, I, I'm not moved by this. I'm not moved by this whatsoever. I'm not. I don't look. I don't look at Ronnie any different. You know what I mean? Any higher or any low? Any lower? You know what I'm saying? Any dude that's willing to be in a long term relationship with Krayshawn and possibly getting her pregnant. You kind of got to already know what type of person he is, you know, you know, so that's, that's, that, that's my take. All right. That's my take. That's T that's T. Um, but yeah, it's still surprising though, as far as him, you know, going back and forth with bloggers and stuff like that. That's, that's a crazy situation, man. Um, and you know, other bloggers fighting each other over, uh, Krishan, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, wow, like, this is crazy. Like. Y'all care way too much. Y'all be talking about what I'm invested. Oh, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anywho. Um, but yeah, it doesn't stop there. So it's not just bloggers. Bruh, Ronnie posted this and called out Whack 100. He said Whack 100 is a snitch. Yo. Whoa. Now, we already know about those allegations uh, about Wack being, you know, an informant and stuff like that. But what's the connection between Ronnie and Wack? Wack always said that, you know, he questioned the, questions the paternity of Junior. And he said, you know, Blueface believes that, you know, it, it, it's Ronnie's baby. He talked about this. But I've never heard him, like, say nothing bad about Ronnie or nothing like that. So... Unless I'm missing something, y'all let me know if I'm out the loop. All right, y'all let me know if I'm out the loop of uh, Whack 100 throwing shade to uh, to Ronnie. I I I haven't heard it. So he tags Whack 100, and then he says, "How you whack and snitching? Make it make sense, old dude." Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's, I mean, where, where, where this come from? Where does hostility come from? Oh. That's crazy. I don't know. It's still, I mean, it's still 
surprising though. It's like, whoa, like where when y'all started beefing, where this come from? You know? They not like us. <laughs> um, y'all wanted Ronnie though. I mean, we we spoke it into existence, okay? We spoke it into existence. We've been saying we want to hear from Ronnie. We want Ronnie to talk. We want Ronnie to, you know, tell his side of the story and all of that stuff. So be careful what you wish for. So it looked like he's kind of turning into like Papa Blue with some of y'all. Um, some of y'all calling Ronnie a bum. He clout chasing. He's stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Kind of like what y'all be saying about Papa Blue, right? Because uh, a lot of people didn't hear from Papa Blue for a while. I mean, at all until Blue went to jail. And then, you know, be careful what you wish for. Okay? Because now we annoyed. So we annoyed by Papa Blue and Ronnie already. Now, here's the thing, though. At, at least it seems, I will say this. It seemed like he got a little more sense than Krishan. He just seems way more cognitive. You know what I mean? He, he's aware. It, it, it seemed like Krishan kind of got some, 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 some screws loose. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if that's saying much. It do seem like he has a real support system around him. Um, we see pictures of his family and stuff. Um, I haven't heard just yet. I mean, obviously more will come out, but I haven't really t heard too much bad about Ronnie other than, you know, the situation of pow, pow, bang, bang. And, you know, on paper, it's because it was it was for self-defense, protecting Krayshawn. And like I said, you would think that the rock tars would would pedestalize, would worship Ronnie for saving her life, for being her first love, for being there for her in her time of need, you know, um, for claiming Junior saying that, hey, man, if the baby's mine, you know, the dates, you know, match in the line, man, if the baby's mine, I'm going to be there for him. We, she's been quiet as a church mouse. All right. She reacting to whatever Natalie saying, whatever Janet saying. Uh, uh, she was in the com. Uh, she was in the uh, what's it called, y'all? When people in your stories, you can watch it. Corey Lombardi showed that she was uh, watching her stuff. I'm watching this stuff, and she was in somebody else's uh, stories. Was it Black T Queens? I'm not sure. Or Captain for Life? It was somebody. Basically, she watching us. He tapped in, but she's still not responding to Ronnie. I find that very interesting. I find that interesting. You said Wax supported Ronnie. That's what I remember. I could have swore like he was like, hey, man, you know, Ronnie, you know, um, you know, Blue believed that's Ronnie's the dad, you know. So, you know, maybe he should check, you know, check out and find that out, man. But I don't remember him saying anything like bad about Ronnie. You said Wax saying something because he's interrupting their clout chasing behind the DNA. He wants to be the only one that has the input on the situation besides his artist blue. Um, possibly. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. This whole situation is just, it's just, ah, you said, uh, she not playing Ronnie. I don't know, man. I, I, I think, I think, I think he looked like junior. If it's between him and uh, Blueface, I'm going with Ronnie. But like I said, it could be anybody at this uh, at this point. Okay? So, I think we're going to be hearing a, a lot more from Ronnie, whether we like it or not. I believe we're going to be hearing a lot more from Ronnie, whether we like it or not. Remember, especially in these next four to six weeks, when he's supposed to get this mandated DNA test, uh, we don't know if Krishan's going to be out. We don't know if she's going to be in prison. Regardless, she's going to have to, um, you know, allow him to get a DNA test. And that's going to answer a lot of questions. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it.